Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have a Costco haul plus a family meal plan. We're going to do a little shopping and I'm going to show you the things that I picked up and how I prepare to shop at Costco because you always have to go in there with a plan. So you guys want to see how I shop and what I actually picked up? Please stay tuned. I can tend to feel this way. So step number one, shop the coupons. Go ahead, fire up that computer, your laptop, whatever it is, your phone, and check out Costco's online coupon book, see what they got on there, check your fridge, see what you're running low on, take inventory, make a list. Do not go into Costco without a list because they'll get you. Now, step number two, that's also very important. Always go to Costco on a full stomach. Eat before you go. I promise, guys, it's worth it. Hey, guys, so we're going to jump in here and we're going to go to Costco. It's actually pretty busy right now. So um, here is a little pointer. Make a list. You guys seen in like the last clip, I sit down, I pull out my computer, I make a list of all the stuff um, that is on the coupon book that I really need so I can make sure to get the stuff. Um, this is a new start of the new September um, coupon book, so I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can. We are at like the corporate location here in Chicago, so it's actually like very, very busy. So I'm gonna try to show as much as I can, but yeah, let's go drop some cash. Let's go give Costco some money, shall we? Let's do this. When I was in there, they had asked me to stop filming. So I only got like a couple little pieces of footage. It was so crazy. People were stealing my carts. But anyways, uh, 210, that's what we did. But I stocked up on a lot of like cleaning stuff too. And I got this two tier basket. Like you guys are gonna die when you see this. It's so cute. We have the Lazy Susan base. But yeah, Leo's putting away, <laughs> Leo's putting away all the groceries. I'm gonna help him, but yes, 210, Costco for the win. I wanted to show you guys my meal plan and kind of how I kind of base my list off of that. So I'm thinking like tonight we're gonna do that rotisserie, I got a rotisserie chicken and a side salad. I have a pork belly defrosted. I'm gonna go ahead and make that tomorrow. Friday will be leftovers, Saturday we're going out. Um, I ended up buying some uh, pork uh, country style ribs. So we're gonna have those on Sunday and throw some burgers on the grill for the kids. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we're doing the egg fast. So that's why I bought the eggs and I already have butter at home. And then Thursday, we're gonna just probably either um, do a taco salad. And then Friday, we're gonna do like a thing on the, in, in the uh, cr crock pot. It's like a shredded like chipotle chicken. So I always make a food plan and then I make like a meal plan and then I'll do my list on the other side. So I'm always prepared. I feel like, I mean, I bought a couple extra things today. That way my bill was a little bit more, but I always go after I've eaten. I never go to Costco hungry and I always make a list. That is the easiest way to get out of there without giving them all your money. So here is everything on the table. Do you ever have the feeling like when you go to the grocery store, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so much stuff. And then you pay and you're like, wow, that was pretty, that was a lot of money. This is like a little bit over 200 bucks. But then you see everything on the table and you're like, oh damn, that's probably not that much. But I had to get like a lot of toiletries and stuff like that. So that's what adds up, added up. If you guys have a Costco um, by you, all their like detergents, cleaning supplies, um, all that good stuff that you know you hate to run out of is all on sale right now. It's all on coupon. So I went ahead and stocked up and I got a lot of keto necessities 
as well. I am starting um, the beef or the egg fast, which you'll probably see this video on Monday, so I'm starting it today. So anyways, let me show you the things I got. First things first is this hard salami. I buy this for my daughters for their school lunches. They love it, they all agree on it. So, and it's a really great deal. I think it's about seven bucks for both of these. So I think it's, yeah, one and a half pounds. Not too bad. Um, yeah, so I got them that. Leo needed deodorant, so we got this five pack of degree. It was only $8.99, so I picked that up for him. This is my favorite. It's a little pricey. It is the Mediterranean Crunch Chopped Salad Kit. So, um, there's a few things in here I don't eat. Like, I don't eat the flat bread strips, and I don't eat this vinaigrette that it comes with, so I just eat, like, the, um, it's romaine, chicory, broccoli, cauliflower, red cabbage, and feta, and there's a little bit of carrot in there. But I just eat it with a regular dressing. It is delicious. It's so, so very good. And I think just for the salad only is four carbs. So I love this one. They have, I love that about Costco. They have such an assortment of salad mixes that you can really just buy anything. They have a really good Caesar one as well. I picked up the rice cauliflower. These come in individual bags. I don't remember. I think there's like four or five of them in there. And they're really, really great. Um, Leo loves the, if you guys seen in a recipe video I made, like um, a risotto uh, rice. And Leo loves it. So, and then we use it for like Spanish rice as well. Or we can do mashed cauliflower too. So, I picked that up. Okay, so then there's this was not a necessity, but I seen it and I was like, okay, I need it. So it is a two tier basket with a Lazy Susan base. It was 20 bucks. I've never seen it before. Um, I'm not doing this as like a traditional like decorate basket. I'm doing this as um, I'm gonna get rid of my fruit basket because it's already like old and kind of grimy. So I'm gonna use this and then that way you could spin the bottom and put your fruit in there so nothing just like stuck in the back or on the bottom so everything can be eaten. So I picked that up, I'm really excited for that. Hopefully it'll fit underneath my countertop. I always buy the chicken thighs from Costco. They're usually about 99 cents. Let's see what these ones are. Yep, 99 cents a pound. These are the best. They don't have the nerves and all that stuff. These are really, really good. This was also on sale, the Dawn Antibacterial. I think it was like six or seven dollars. And yeah, I picked this up for washing dishes because, you know, that's what we do. And you know, I know a lot of people prefer like different brands, but guys, nothing cleans your dishes the way Dawn cleans your dishes. I know. I said it, I love it. These were a new find for me. These are the Tenton Water, what is it? Waters Ranch 100% grass fed beef, um, no, horm no, no hormones, no antibiotics, cooked uncured Polish sausage made with beef. So look at the macros. That's what I was really excited about. So these macros are for one, one link, so it's 17, 200 calories, 17 fat, less than one carb, and 11 protein. So, and the links are really nice size. So I figure like throwing these on the grill, um, or even having them with some eggs or something like that. I was really excited. And I think it was about 13 bucks for these. So not too bad. And they're about the same size, or the same price as those Amy Lou sausages, but they're way bigger. And yeah, so, I mean, they're a little, I think there's a little bit less in the pack, but the, the portion size is way bigger. As I said, I'm starting the egg fast, so I bought myself some of these eggs. Uh, I got some apple cider vinegar tablets. These are the ones we've always used. Um, someone was saying that they may have a packaging, um, like flour in them or something, so I wanted to show you guys what they look like. So it says there's no gluten, no wheat, no yeast, milk, lactose, soy, artificial color, artificial flavor, artificial sweetener, or preservatives, and they're non-GMO. So um, we really like them. We really see results with them, and we can't do this, the liquid. I've tried. It just tastes so bad, so we've been doing these instead, and I feel like they work just as great. For our protein, I went ahead and got, hold on. You know, Costco, they like for you to have these in the bags, which I appreciate because you don't want the juice all over. These are some boneless shoulder country style rib um, ribs. We're going to put these on the grill and just, like smoke them over the weekend. So I picked up some of those for us. I was really excited for them. I got us a rotisserie chicken for dinner tonight because, you know, when you go shopping all day long, you do not feel like cooking. So we're having a rotisserie chicken. 
I picked up some sharp cheddar cheese. This was the only one they had today, less than one gram of carb, nine of fat, and seven of protein. I believe this is only $4.99, so I always buy my cheese and bricks, and I got this from Costco. So usually I pay about $2 for the smaller ones, so this was a really good deal. I got my monk fruit, uh, stevia leaf and monk fruit sweetener from Whole Earth. This is my favorite one. Um, I cannot use, I, I buy the syrups for my coffee since I was out of these, and to me it's just, sweet stuff is so much sweeter now that I've been on keto, like it's just so strong that I just really can't even enjoy it. So I really, and I don't like Splenda or anything else. I love these ones. And they are sweetened with erythritol, so you know, I know a lot of people are concerned about that, but no, these are pretty clean, super keto. This is about 13 bucks, but there's, I believe, 400 packets in here. So one of my favorites and definitely a keto staple for me. Another keto staple for me is the Rouse Homemade Marinara Sauce. Uh, guys, marinara sauce is full of carbs. It's one of those things. But Rouse, and I believe there's another brand called Victoria that is a little low carb friendly as well. Um, these are usually at like the markets by us for one of them, usually like $6.99 or $7.99. For this two pack at Costco was $9.99. So, you know, you had to get it. I'm going to show you the macros so you guys can take a look here. So you can see there's four carbs and three total sugar, um, eight fat and one of protein. You have to be careful not only with the carbs, but with spaghetti sauces, they do sweeten it with a, a shit ton of sugar and you don't want all that. So um, yeah, this is what I picked up. Um, I don't really have a recipe as of yet for it, but for the price, I was like, it will not go to waste, I promise. Um, this two pack of Febreze, guys, what did I tell you? So the two pack of Febreze was six bucks cannot beat that usually they're five dollars for one of them or unless you get like the walmart brand which i've been doing that's about 450 so i picked those up just you know for the house and you know you don't always have your windows open it gets a little musty you know get it cars things life kids so yeah i picked that up we got this three pack um of what they got oil of olay or olay body wash this was 9.99 so this will last us for months and they're the big ones too so you guys can see they're the real big ones i think it's each of them are 23.6 fluid ounces so yeah when those go on sale we usually just stock up because you know there's a lot of us in this house so um i also got the girls these crispy chicken strips from tyson they run on coupon for eight bucks i believe so i picked those up for them just for like a weekend snack or something like that the Skinny Pop popcorn was on sale or on coupon, I think it was like $3.99, so I picked that up. And then for the girls for their lunches, and this weekend, or Raya's birthday is like this last weekend when you see this, so that she's gonna have some friends over, so I figured that'd be a nice little snack. And then I got the other kids some Pirate's Booty. These was also on sale for $3.99 for like their lunches and stuff like that, so I bought that for them. I got a thing of half and half. I've been sweetening my coffee with, or not sweetening, but using half and half as my, you know, my creamer for my coffee. And even for like my recipes and stuff like that, just because if you guys have been with me for a minute, I did lower my macros. Um, so I definitely have cut my fat macros down. And I do love um, heavy whipping cream for some recipes, but for like every day for coffee and stuff like that, I try to kind of stay away from that. So I've been using half and half. And this big one was only, I think five bucks at Costco and it's the organic one, so. I also picked these crescent sausage, cage-free egg and cheese sandwiches up for the girls for breakfast in the morning. They absolutely love these. And it's way cheaper than taking them to Dunkin' Donuts for their sandwiches, so I picked that up. So that's my haul here. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap this video up. Hopefully you guys got some ideas, maybe if you're getting ready to head out to Costco yourself or you're wondering what people pick up when they go. I always find these videos very interesting because people always find something that I never thought to look for or even seen, so then I kind of keep my eye out for it. So let me know down below, what is the one thing that you've seen in this haul today that you've never seen and you're like, look, I wanna try that. Please let me know. If you guys are new here, hey, what's up? My name's Danielle, and we do a little bit of everything around here. Keto, 
you know, lifestyle, everything that is anything in your everyday life, we cover it around here. It's a good place to be. We friends, we real friends. And yeah, so I would love for you to stick around and be friends with us. But all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I will see you on the next one. Take it easy, friends. You left behind Trying to sleep but the silence is haunting visual every night